What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, two big topics today to discuss. Let's go ahead and kick it right off with probably the most exciting of the two, and that is Enhanced Autopilot. As Musk said, is now back. It's been rolling out to other countries. It is finally back in the U.S. as of, I think, midnight last night, which was uh, the morning of the 24th here in the U.S., so this is exciting for a couple of different aspects. As a Tesla shareholder, you get now these added, this, this is gonna help the bottom line hugely. It's $6,000 added now instead of 12 for full self-driving. You're getting a ton of new features at half the cost. You're actually, to be honest with you, you're getting the bulk of what everyone cares about in the FSD package now in Enhanced Autopilot. I think Tesla took this away back in 2019, I believe. And for it to return, uh, I think this is awesome. I think this is now going to give people, it's going to be like a gateway drug. It's going to give people a reason to jump back into it and taking a $6,000 hit as opposed to a twelve, or taking a $6,000 hit, it's seeing how exciting it is and the benefits of it. People will be more inclined to spend an additional $6,000 down the line for full self-driving. So I think this is huge news as a, as a pick or, or excuse me, as a, uh, Tesla stakeholder, as a shareholder, and as a consumer, obviously. So having said that, what Enhanced Autopilot does and how you get it, I'm going to show you very quick in the app. So when you actually launch your app, what you're going to want to do is simply go to your upgrade options here, and I apologize for the ring light glare. You're going to click software updates or upgrades, and you can see now right on top is Enhanced Autopilot for $6,000. And when you click on it, you'll see everything you get. And to read down the list, navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, summon, and smart summon are all included here. Yes, you're not going to be getting the FSD betas. These are not finalized products. These are simply betas, as it says. It's not full self-driving. Now, as fun as they are, it is still, we'll say, dangerous to use. It's still just not polished. I have it in one in R3. It's great. It's nice to have, but all of the features of full self-driving that I use in that are in Enhanced Autopilot. I don't need the beta necessarily on my S. I didn't purchase it for 10000 at that time, but to have Navigate on Autopilot, having the automatic lane changes and all that in the Enhanced Autopilot option, having Smart Summon for the few you know times you want to use it as a gimmicky feature, having that is awesome. $6,000 is still a lot of money, but if Tesla comes out with a subscription model to this, and this is just me hypothetically thinking, $100 a month is half of what FSD is right now, right? It's $200 a month. So if this comes out at $100 a month, a lot of people are going to be inclined to take advantage of it, or at least try it. So I personally am not going to spend $6,000 on it today. However, if they did some subscription option or something like that, or for people that want to kind of dabble in it and see and get these features, I think it is going to be uh, amazing. I really am grateful that Tesla came back with it. Super good move on their part for their bottom line and for customers. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below in regards to that. Now, moving on past that, what we have here also that just dropped last night at the same time is version 2022.16.2 and there were a couple of changes on this. Let's go take a look in the Model S and see these release notes. Alright, so here you go. You can see the release notes, driver profile changes, and navigation energy prediction. So these were actually included in the 16.1 release as well. Uh, I am excited to see and actually tell you guys, we actually recently went on a road trip and our energy prediction was a lot better we went about 400 miles one way than what it has been in the past it really did take advantage of that uh, much more than I've seen in prior generations so having said that again you can find this it is like I said 2022.16.2 .2. Um, you can find this in your Model S it's going to be deployed over time I believe they're rolling it out to a 3 and Y as well as well as the X so just keep your eyes on it. Not the most groundbreaking changes, but this is one of the most ones I'm excited to see. And seeing them tweak it uh, really gives me uh, some excitement as well. Again, back to driver profiles. This kind of took effect, again, in 16.1. But now media player accounts are now linked to your driver profile. So when you log into your media account 
and while your driver profile is selected, you'll be good to go for Spotify logins and all of that, etc. So if you have different uh, stations saved and all that, it will tweak and save accordingly. So yeah, guys, that's it. Kind of a big update as far as Enhanced Autopilot. The, uh, the software update here, 2022.16.2, is not necessarily the most groundbreaking, but it is always exciting again to see what's been going on behind the scenes at Tesla, and hopefully we'll keep getting better and better. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. Super thanks us. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.